say with me, say, Lord, if you use your servant to challenge me today, I receive that challenge and to move forward in my calling today by the word of grace and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Stir my spirit up. Reconnect me to the place of my new birth. Let me become the person that you have called me to be. In the mighty name of Jesus. And let the church shout Amen. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive the word of God? If you are really ready, lift up your voice and give another shout of praise to God. I said another shout of praise to God. There is an assignment God has given me called exploits in the God class. The world boasts of world class. If we see a world class singer, we are talking of somebody that is a prolific singer, a dynamic singer, world class footballer. The world knows of classes. But when you mention God class, you are talking of another realm which is superior to that of the world class. You know what I'm talking about. And so to do exploits is to do mighty works in God. House of God, if today you will hear me well, you will do exceedingly abundantly. Above your wildest dream and imagination. You know, it takes one dose of injection of virtue, knowledge, understanding, to change for a lifetime. You don't need repeated messages. What you need is a message. Oh, are you hearing me? Now, when you open up and that message finds expression in your life, from then on, you will never be the same again. And to this morning, I want to speak something dynamic to your heart. So you will never be the same I did not hear a bigger amen. amen. I didn't hear a bigger amen. amen. You know, anytime I move from ministering in Africa to ministering abroad, you see a vast difference. The difference is not the dressing, because as for the dressing, of course, here is England. Here is London. Whatever it is, we are better in appearance than them. But what they beat us with is joy. That they have some joy that you wonder what is wrong with people living on this side of the world. And you want to tell me, oh, but Bishop, we are carrying loads of responsibility. But you see, it is no longer you, but Christ that liveth in you. For that matter, geographical location must not change your joy. Is somebody here me? Because if God be for us, who can be against us? Now it calls for you to revive your body, your soul, and your spirit. When depression wants to take over your life, tell depression, get you behind me, Satan. Because after all, I'm supposed to rejoice because I'm better located than somebody in Africa. Is somebody hearing me? You, you'll be surprised. The many times I arrest myself and say I'm not going down the road of moodiness and I will never allow depression to settle on my soul because Christ is my watchman. Oh, how many Christians are in the house? You know, the lady that is gracefully 75 years was telling us something that God first. In all she does, God first. And does not allow anything to overtake her, but God first. Now, when you find yourself 
with God. God has allowed you to enjoy equality with him. Oh, Bishop, this is too much. The truth is, Jesus was equal with God. And when Paul was talking to the Philippians, in Philippians chapter 2, the verse of 5 onwards, he said, who, Jesus, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but he made himself of no reputation and was found in the likeness of man. And being found in the likeness of a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. In other words, he was so great, yet he carried so much humility that he could mix with humanity in order to do things with his ability and for that matter God lifted him above all. You know the knowledge of God must bring you on the same scale as God. You see God's children are living with him and God's children enjoy privileges and opportunities as himself. And so if your father is God, then you carry God's DNA. Amen. The reason I'm taking such a subject matter for the month of January is that we will begin this year with a new mindset. An elevated mindset, an anointed mindset that makes you feel like God. The room is quiet. That makes you feel like what? God. That makes you feel like what? God. If somebody is confused about this, change it and say that. That makes you feel like what? That. That makes you feel like man. That. That's what you should know. So I'm going to show you a scripture that incriminated Jesus Christ and was on the verge of being stoned. Why was he going to be stoned? It's because he said things that I'm preaching now that the Pharisees of his day could not comprehend. And for that matter, they started persecuting him. Now this thing that I'm teaching you, if you begin to talk like that, think like that, do things like that, you are going to have several Pharisees looking for you. Let's move to John chapter 10. Let's read from the verse of 30. John 10 verse 30. Thank you. We are all going to read together. On top ten, bass, soprano, everybody. Please lift your voice. Don't read any other version but the one that is on the screen. Ready? Let's go. I and my father are what? We are what? We are what? Now you and your father, you are what? Are you sure? Are you sure? Why? Because you are born again by spirit into the same material as God. Let's move it. We are reading together. Let's continue. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them. We are all reading. Jesus answered them. Many good works I have shown you from my father. Which one of those works do you stone me? I'm sick out. Oh, I feel like passing. 
Jesus. Oh my God, Father, whatever you showed me in my secret place, show these people because you love them. Whatever revelation you fed my spirit with in the nation of Ghana, show them also. Oh, hey. 
as they are. But the mindset, which is the root of all revolution, is the God class mindset. Arise and be your God self. The basis of deliverance is the God class. You wake up in the morning, your hands, your hand doesn't feel right. Then you watch it and say, I must see my GP. No, before you get down to the GP, you would have spoken to every bone, every artery, every nerve, every capillary, every bone must receive instruction. Why? Because God lives in you. Don't tell me the message is too high about it. What did you get born again for? You got born again for so you can sing and dance, so you can speak in tongues. Hallelujah. You got born again so that you will remain in the God class. Many people know how to talk, but they don't know how to do the truth. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, by his grace. Oh, God will show me. Even what I have to wear, God has to show me. And so, if snakes are chasing you in your dreams, and the same God you said only shows you how to do color combination and color blocking. Then you are the most miserable of all people. Read on. Did I not say I will challenge you today? Ready? Let's go. If he called them God to whom the word of God came and the scripture can Let's go. Do you say of him who the Father sanctified and sent into the world, you are blaspheming because I said I am the Son of God? Now, see what's about to come and know how to identify yourself. You see, I captioned this message. Exploits in the gold class. Subheading is this self assessment in the gold class. You've got to assess yourself and know which kind of understanding you carry in life. Some have defeatist mindset, even though they are believers, singing songs of redemption, but the authority level is too low. Oh, but Bishop, I need some. Let's move. Ready? Let's move together. If I do not do the works of my father, do not be. Do you know why the world doesn't believe Christians? Do you know why Muslims are ridiculous and, and the rest of the religions don't give us respect? Something to 
make you feel guilty, but something to make you feel revived. That from now on, 2016, the world will know that I exist. In whatever capacity you find yourself, please believe me. I came with the message that God slopped it in my spirit. Why his people are always at the bottom. Say, son, go tell them. This message I'm preaching to you is a world class message. Because if you don't know who you are in God, somebody who you are more spiritual than. So, 
And so, and you have become so spiritual, your feet doesn't even touch the ground. All your ways are spiritualized. Uh, Rebecca, how are you? Oh, in his grace. Oh, how are you doing? Flying in the spirit. Ah, you know what's happening now? I'm telling you, these days, God keeps showing me. He keeps showing me. He keeps showing me. When I close my eyes to see, ah, sometimes I'm not even sleeping. And God will be showing me. Will be showing me. Yeah. 